All right, fine countryside people. We're gonna do a test here. We're gonna follow the public footpath over the M60, Manchester Circular, the Mank M25, or we could call the M25 London's M60. So what we're gonna try and do, we're gonna stand there filming and we're gonna see just how many people honk their horns, toot their horns, we'll see. Oh my God, civilians, get out of my video. Okay, right. Just to show you how everyone hates a cameraman, we will just stand there with a smartphone in hand and it'll be very clear to all the drivers that it's just a guy stood there with a camera and we'll see, we'll get into location, we'll do it. Oh, these poor bastards have got a smart motorway 50 miles an hour. Let's do it. Let's see how many honks we get. How many angry honkers are we gonna get? And I'm not gonna drop my phone. Okay. yet there's just so much beauty in the natural world if you look closely it'll leave you breathless speechless Nectar looks good. The discerning eye, you'll see that this is a yet a new species of butterfly bush where the flowers burst out in little rings, not rings, in little spheres, little globes along the, uh, along the stem. Now, let's see if we'll catch them. Do you see the, where is he on my screen? Do you see the orange butterfly? Do you see it? You see it? Can you get a good shot? Is it focused? I can't see. Too much glare. Yeah, you got him. Oh, we flew away. And one thing, dude, I love about Salford at the end of summer, towards the end of summer, is the, the free munchies. Um, 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 um. Try not to do this next to a main road, guys. You get um, exhaust fume particles in the fruit. But we're away from any main road, so... We will munch away. Mmm, cute. Mmm, a little bit tart, still a bit fresh. Just the way I like it. Swinton Cooperative Society Limited, branch number four. We're here on Westminster Street, just opposite the cemetery. Yes. See how they arrange in uh, a kind of a uh, circle concentric spokes on the bike wheel. This is for more efficient government charging of these little guys. Now, government drones, they actually surf that fine line between wireless and wired charging. If they sit on a wire and charge that way, is that wired or wireless charging? There, I know you all like that as much as I do. And look at that, horses. Okay, we're gonna get away from the din of the motorway and funnily enough nobody beeped nobody noticed and uh it's amazing the exponential decay of noise as we walk away i used to know the equation for the dissipation of shock waves energy sound waves in a sphere something about the square root or it for every meter away, it uh, goes down by the square. Some sort of a... Uh... So, oh my goodness, it's a little forest. Now this is what I like to do. I like to just arrive live, not having a clue, just like my viewers don't have a clue. 
when we just go in now this is amazing this would be a good place to camp might not even post this video now I'll keep it to myself oh man i like this a lot like a lot a lot your life is the poetry that your consciousness has written so when it eventually vacates this particular poem it's nonsensical to say oh but what about the poem you gotta keep writing that same poem forever and like consciousness as well it's a beautiful poem but i finished it that one's done i'm gonna write other poems live other dreams okay there you go have some scale Now, why do people do that? I don't understand. Why Why would you do that? It's even worse than just letting your dog poo in the forest. I mean, why would you put a plastic bag around it and leave it there? Fucking nihilists. So I had no idea there was a, a kind of Thailand Buddhist monastery. Just uh, not too far walking from Swinton. Very interesting. We'll have a look at Holy Buddha, then we'll come along and have a look at that uh, shrine over there. Here he is, Holy Buddha. We'll get a bit closer, have a look. I'll kneel down, I think there's mats for kneeling on. We'll do a little respectful kneel. It's all in Thai. I don't know what it's saying, I'm not going to light any incense, I don't want to get too involved. But uh, there you go. Now I'll present this one without any commentary. So, this is where we came from, golden bit there, to give you context. They've got lovely, I thought it was golf courses, but they have a giant meditation garden. I can see rows of lavender down there, I can see some monks wearing orange, doing some gardening. There's some sheep further down there, and the grounds here would be lovely. I am definitely going to come back and try and do some filming in there, try and do some meditation in their meditation garden. And because everything's a paradox, Buddhism talks about no attachments, and here they have the deceased king of Thailand. That was the king 20 years ago when I visited Thailand, and I don't know how they... Anyway, it's the exact same way as religious people in this country saying, God save the queen. It's like, oh, only the queen, okay then. I know my place as a peasant, sorry. Behold, a pale horse. And even more terrifyingly, behold behind them two pale geese. Beware the pale by goose of death. There's no golden eggs here. There's just honks. Hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and potassium. Honk. Check this out, guys. It's a fishing lake. <laughs> a kind of a donut shaped fishing lake. And there's a guy, a solitary guy, having a fish. King of uh, bags of uh, SH1T. Sometimes the, the adverts write themselves. Although you can tell he's had to kind of touch it up with a bit of felt tip. <laughs> yeah, ready bagged horse manure, all good quality. No nope. beep. Love it. Guys, I've been on a long walk. I'm back on Manchester Road now, but uh, much to my horror, I was walking past the Unity, Unity Brook Inn. And it says to me, this is the highest rated pub for food in all of Bolton. Look at that lovely house. That is nice, isn't it? So... I was like, my God, I'm in Bolton. I thought it was a bit darker, scarier, but we're about to get well, welcome. You are now in, in capitals in 1980, shock pink. What the hell were they thinking? And wait a minute. Turn it. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, goodbye, Bolton. I'm not going to do that again soon. What I love is, is the, uh, the theater of uh, security. It's the uh, face height, you know, I'm, I'm six foot five and bloody hell. So I could be walking along here on the phone. I could uh, lean over, be smoking a cigarette, distracted. And I fall over, lean against this and boom, I've, I've ripped my cheek open. <laughs> but at least we get to give off. And it's all for image because this is the army cadet. 
Army Reserve Center. So it's got to look a bit Fort Knoxy. Otherwise, the public would be like, huh? Well, where's the security? Put a bit of razor wire on it, no problem. You know how we look back at um, people in the Industrial Revolution working down mines or in those big uh, factories, textiles, all the new industries that were really bad for you. And we look back and we feel so sorry for them, for their uh, archaic and nasty and horrible ways. Well, I don't think in the far too distant future, our descendants will look back at the 20th and 21st century. And they're gonna say, you people were crazy having this industrial road noise next to people's houses. It's just, I went for a walk into the countryside deep and you can hear it five miles away. What are we thinking? So in conclusion, what I was trying to say on my countryside motorway walk around is that there's a million people, a million people worldwide trying to get your attention for this, for that, for this, be scared for this. You get motivated if you're terrified, you get motivated if you want sex, you get motivated if you don't want to get... <laughs> So my advice is switch everything off. What, don't watch anything except obviously yours truly here. I have to kind of put that disclaimer in, such as the paradox of anyone that does anything media wise, when most of the media is shit and is gonna rot your brain, you say, don't watch the media, don't consume anything. But there's a lot of inspirational things out there. I'd say watch Christopher Nolan movies. I, I find them very inspirational, very nice. My favorite probably Interstellar. That's a dad's movie. That's all about a dad. Dad's movie. But uh, I just want to end it here at the J. Edgar Hoover CIA headquarters in uh, Washington, D.C. Same architect. They got a, a good a good price on, uh, on concrete for this building. But uh, amazing. It's a Saturday. Usually I'd uh, go into the city center. There's protests and crackheads and violence and arrests. But you got to look after number one sometimes. And uh, after the, the peak, peak crackhead from last weekend, I don't think I can top it unless I go there with like, you know, fully weapon, weaponed out with clubs and chains. And who's going to do that? Now, another thing as well, just to end it on a positive note. <laughs> I've run, I've, there's people looking at me. I've lost my train of thought. Have a good weekend. Take